I had done 10,000 stories as a journalist, and so I covered politics. And I went to three national political conventions. I, you know, wrote about politics all the time. I came out to the state house, but that's really now. Now I look back, that was really scratching the surface. I really called people who I knew would give me the truth about how much time and effort this was going to take, how much uh, passion I needed to have about it. Uh, if I was truly in it for the right reasons, then I would succeed. And I thought, OK, I've got that squared away. Um, but then how do I do it? I wanted to make sure that if I made this decision, I would be well prepared. And um, I was about as prepared as I could be for a seven week special election. You know, I got the help of a lot of people who, who gave me encouragement and a lot of study, deep, deep study and quick study, and, and off we went. So my younger self, <laughs> that what I would have liked to do before I came into this campaign is to start sooner. There are these years that have gone by that are really um, prime years for people who are running in politics, and they're the late 20s, 30s, and 40s. And those are just formative years. Don't get so hung up like I did about you just have to have all this information and am I prepared enough and am I good enough and you know what what will people think you know will they think that I'm a good candidate or not and you need to take those fears and set them aside. My advice to uh, someone who's coming into it um, if you're a hard worker you're willing to listen and you have passion about your community you should run just do it. <laughs> you know, I think it's just that simple. Just do it.